here in Echo Parks, I wanted to pop in on my old friend and genius landscape designer who I always think of when I'm designing a home or making a pot, the lovely and talented Judy Camion. JK. Jeffler! When I'm designing a pot, I know that my pot is good if it would look good in Judy's groovy Echo Park pad. I brought some pot. Pot, my favorite gift. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put something in it? Let's do this. All right, let's go. You hungry? I made I'm some scones. <gasps> Judy Camion's this incredible landscape designer, but she's also a great painter. She is a mom. She knows how to bake. She quintessentializes groovy California modern living. She's like a hipper Martha Stewart. Hello. <gasps> Your book, I cannot believe this. Is this the real thing? It's a mock-up. I wrote the forward, just saying. One day I was out and there was a message that Jonathan Adler had called. And I was like, wow, that's so funny. There's two Jonathan Adlers. Cause I'd never occurred to me that the Jonathan Adler would be calling me. And when I told him that he was like, what do you mean? Cause he doesn't even understand that he was the Jonathan Adler, which is one of the things I love about him. So wait, so you made this? How do you no. do it all? I didn't grow the rhubarb, so, you know, you got a deal. What? what a JV operation you run around here. I met Judy Camion when I was designing the Parker Palm Springs Hotel, and she came in and she was wearing this sun hat and this flowy dress, and I was just like, I love you. Can I just say, I don't know how much longer I can live without eating this. All right, well, let's go outside and have a little chat and chew. I think California design is about bringing the outdoors in. And what I love about her landscape is that her idea of outdoor living is incredible because it really is about living outdoors. It's about like being in the landscape and not just looking at it. Je feel like I'm in Le South de France. Mais oui. Would you care for a chapeau? Oui, le chapeau, merci. So um. chic. Dude, I kind of feel like I'm at the Parker. Well, remember we got that great direction, which was to make a place that we would want to go to ourselves. Et voila. Yeah. But you know what is rad? You made it feel like it was just always there. That's perfect, because if you see the hand, if it seems like a contrived or that it's been overworked or overthought or overdone, then it kind of kills the magic. Judy's work looks effortless, effortless glamour. It just takes so much work to make something look effortless. That's the thing, but that's going to be our dirty little secret. I, don't, I feel like we're on an episode of The Bathroom. We should do one of these, like, wrap around L'chaim's, like. L'chaim. <laughs> what do you think would go beautifully with it? I like these brights. How much can we fit in that? We little... can stuff it. I, I like to stuff it. I just know she's going to make this incredible succulent scape that's going to take my nifty leaf ball and make it look niftier. I got a little potting soil here. And we'll smush it around. And I actually, I love getting my hands dirty. I don't like to wear gardening gloves. That's why I never have my nails done. All right, I'm gonna get Potter-ish and just talk about this pot. It's called the leaf ball, and it's about trying to capture the sinuous lines and fullness of succulents. Like, they're so full and plump and juicy. I feel like when I look at a succulent leaf, I feel like there's like a leaf and then someone just sort of <laughs> blew it up and just made all the lines like, exactly the right amount of like plumpness. All right, wait, the way you're filling this up is making me tingle with ecstasy. <laughs> How much more can it handle? Where are you gonna stop? <laughs> I think this arrangement's really Jadler-esque. It's colorful, it's whimsical, but it also is architectural, and I think it hits it, all the notes. And to me, this is like a Judy Camion landscape in micro-miniature. Coming to California, spending time with Judy, reminds me of why I started doing what I wanted to do in the first place. It's like, as a designer, as a potter, I'm all about making things functional and beautiful, and I think that she has that unique ability to make an outdoor landscape livable and functional and feel right. Ugh, I love it. I've been to Arcosanti several times, but never to Cosanti, which is where Palace Larry lived and created and dreamed until the ripe old age of 93. This place is unbelievable. It's like Oscar Niemeyer meets Picasso. I want to just like live here and like hump this column and just inhabit this zone. He is a genius. <laughs>